This lecture will be about ultrasound artifacts. Artifacts are the components of the image that do not represent an anatomical structure that can occur during imaging. In ultrasound, a non-existing item may be seen like real, or an existing item may be missing, maybe in incorrect location, in different shape than the original, or in inappropriate brightness. The device considers that the beam is thin and homogeneous. Attenuation in the tissue is homogeneous, the velocity is constant, and the propagation is linear. Artifacts occur when one or more of these assumptions are not met. The ultrasound device considers that beam is thin and homogeneous, but there's a slight thickness, and the sound beam is not homogeneous. The sound beam artifacts include lateral simmering, which the point reflectors are seen as linear, and the side lobe artifacts, where side lobe waves reflected from strong reflectors produce high echo in the center of the image. This is the example of lateral smearing. You see the center is homogeneous, but on either side, there are some linear appearance of point reflectors. This is a side loop artifact example. The reflectors produce bright echo in the center due to the side lobe waves. The second assumption is attenuation is homogeneous, but increased absorption or increased deflection cause artifacts. Attenuation artifacts include the acoustic enhancement, acoustic shadowing, strong reflection, like reverberation, comet tail, or dirty shadowing artifacts. This is an acoustic enhancement example, typical uh, assist as posterior acoustic enhancement and acoustic shadowing of areas where sound beam cannot penetrate or totally reflected. We can see the shadowing in the deep areas. The other assumption is velocity is constant, but it's not. The other one is the propagation is linear. This is not correct. Sent and received sound travel across various tissues with different absorption properties. Some convergence and divergence occurs. And also the reflections are not in the same direction. Reflection from interfaces parallel to the transducer may cause reverberation or comet tail artifacts depending on the shape of the strong reflector. This is an example of reverberation artifact. This, the strong, strong reflector is the anterior wall, of the, the ladder. So these are the reverberation artifacts. This is another reverberation artifact originating from gas inside of the duodenum. When the strong reflector is at point, the artifact is like a comet tail deep to the bright reflector. The reflection from interfaces not parallel to the transducer may cause mirror artifacts. Let's take an object here, transmitted and received sound waves to obtain the image in a certain of time. But some of the waves reflected from the non parallel interface reach to the object, then go back, reflected again and reach to the transducer. As the transducer considers the time to determine the depth, the object is imaged here deeper and not in the original place. This is called the mirror artifact. And we commonly see it in the interface of diaphragm here. You see the hemangioma here, the original image, but the reflected one goes back and deeper than the original mirror image of the original in the deeper incorrect location. This is hepatic veins incorrectly imaged deeper. 
The interfaces of tissue with acoustic impedance differences may cause some artifacts, particularly fat and other soft tissue interfaces may cause a prismatic effect called the diffraction artifact. You see the so the tumor here just occurring because of the fat interface with the spin here and this refraction makes an image here like a tumor of the lower pole of the kidney. This is another one. You see the spin of fat interface causes a false tumor here. Or the falciform ligament may distort the image like a refraction artifact. Preperitoneal fat is a common location for refraction artifact. You see the prismatic effect here. And another consequence of refraction artifact is the duplication of the vessels. This prismatic effect also in dot fat. And this is the explanation of that. You see the, the original waves goes like that. But this peritoneal fat, like a prismatic effect, refracts the sound wave and the original aorta is seen like two aortas incorrectly located on its original place. There may be some hardware and software artifacts. Electrical interference is a common one, particularly where the fluorescence lamps uh, use the same line with the transducers. This is an old device causing artifacts here. It's called a connector artifact. Some of the lines uh, are not working properly. Knowledge of artifacts are important for a good ultrasound practice. Thank you for listening.